Hello everybody, welcome to the corner. Today I just wanted to touch bases on a couple highlights. The 66 Nova Grumpier's toy is out on the bench again. Been working on a little bit of that. Got the uh, engine kind of mocked up, roughed in. Being that it's going to be a super stock drag car, I forget all the exact rules of it. But I think you're allowed intake change modifications, header add-ons, and it's just, uh, a couple of rear suspension mods, I think. But everything else has to be pretty much a stock vehicle. In this case, it'll have the back seat in it, along with the you know the bench style seat in the front. But I did mild, mildly tub it out because I'm going to put some uh, nine inch wide slicks in it. But that's that one. And I know most of you have been following along. This is the one I did the uh, firewall set back on. And, well, it's done. <laughs> I finished it up the other day. Haven't done an update video on it yet, so I figured I'd add it in today's video quick. Um, this didn't go quite as easily as I had hoped it was, or would. Uh, when I was putting it together, of course, for into the firewall issues, I had to set the, the firewall back, get the engine to fit in it. Then I ran into chassis fitment issues, had to modify the interior a little bit to fit the back window. Had to cut the base of the windshield off to get the interior dash and everything to fit up underneath it, being that I set the firewall back, it interfered with the bottom of the windshield. And then, final assembly, was putting the chassis in it, and the... Uh, the skirts that hang down off of the 66 Nova chassis, these things here, these were hanging out underneath the body like so. And I didn't really feel like bugging with the chassis to get the, you know, the interior and everything to get it to fit up in there more. So I just lopped off the bottom of those skirts and then touched them up with a black Sharpie marker just to finish it off. Wheelie bars on it. And there it is. The official UFO search vehicle. Going to be, if you're ever down around New Mexico, you might see this thing running around down around Roswell. <laughs> Searching for UFOs. It's even got the, uh, I use the kit decals, the Roswell, New Mexico. I don't know if I can, not really focusing in on it. Let's see if we can. Yeah, a little better. I was going to black wash the grill out, but I was in a hurry to get this thing finished up. I wanted to get it done, move on to something else. Got some other stuff I want to get working on here. Ooh, the engine. Next few days, I'm going to be busy. My daughter's got surgery tomorrow. We're going to be at Shriner's Hospital tomorrow most of the day. So I'm going to get some foot surgery done and get that taken care of. Figured I'd make a quick video and throw this out at you. And you got the UFO sticker in the back window. But it turned out pretty good for what it is. Trying to kit bash a 66 Pro Street chassis underneath a 63. They're pretty close to one another, but there are a few differences just in you know the years of manufacture of the kits and such. 63 was based off the old promo style 63 nova when it was brought out in 63 the 66 nova this body uh, kit i think came out in mid 70s or something like that if you when that one came out so you have the techno technology differences between the mold manufacturers and such how they were made and such so but they're pretty close to one another as far as pan chassis pan and such but turned out pretty good but now, I had a couple of fellows ask me about something that's been sitting on my bench for a while. And I'm going to dust off the cobwebs here and pull it forward and do a little talking on it while we got y'all here. And need to talk about that a little bit too, I guess. So we'll be right back with something that's sitting back there. Those of you who have watched few of my videos by now I've probably seen this thing sitting back here in front of my Kenworth extended rig back here uh, it's been sitting back there for a while now 
a few months ago I was able to get some paint on it this is going to be the final color this truck is going to be I want to uh, take a little darker kind of a slate gray and paint the tonal cover in a grayish tone but all in all this is the color the truck is going to be when it's finally done I'm probably going to toss one more coat one more coat of green on it before I call it done. Um, it's a Krylon color. Satin finish, outdoor spaces. And the color is lime. Picked it up at Walmart, I don't know how many years ago, and I always thought that would be a cool color for something. Well, this, this is what the something is. <laughs> But yeah, um, this truck has had a few modifications done to it. Uh, front roll pan has been added or molded into the body. I'll have to dig the grill out here a minute. It's behind me here. The front roll pan has been molded in. Um, Chrysler or Plymouth Dodge Challenger, whatever you want to call it. This is the hood scoop off of a six-pack RT type car. Instead of facing forward, I flipped it around, faced it backwards, so it now faces like a cowl. Inducted scoop would be on a Chevy. I'm going to dig the grill out really quick. Okay. A little bit buried more than I thought it was. <laughs> but this is the grill I'm going to be using on it. It's a GMC grill. And what I did is I cut the lower half off. Where the turn signals and everything would be a little bit larger. The turn signal has been cut kind of in half. So I cut the lower half, probably an eighth of an inch or so, off the bottom of the grill to get it to fit the front end of this. And that's what the front end is going to look, look like when it's done. I decided to opt to cut the lower half off versus the top by cutting the lower half off and making the headlight or the turn signal a little bit smaller in height. Gives it kind of a newer, more modern, dated look to it. By doing that, that kind of helps tie what's what's done on the back end into the build. Kind of blends a little bit of the old with the new. On the back, what I've done is put a Corvette roll pan on it. The whole back end's Corvette. Off of like a 97 Corvette from a uh, Ravel monogram. I've got exhaust tips. I'm gonna try to run exhaust all the way out the back and then bring the tips out and put the exhaust tips right here. Yeah, it's going to mean running exhaust underneath the fuel cell, but eh, whatever. Tonal cover does not come off of this. It's glued right into the body. The reason being is because right underneath it, as you kind of saw a little bit, there is, there's a NASCAR chassis sitting underneath this. I've raised the question, or raised the idea before, if anybody wants to really get a, a build lower, I mean low to the ground, NASCAR chassis allow you to, oops, just to give you an idea, that's what it looks like at a, you know, like a ground stance, the ground level. Um, NASCAR chassis, I raised the core, brought the idea up before about if you got a street vehicle and you want the thing like low to the ground, a good friend of mine, John uh, from Custom Kemps and Miniature, turned me on to this idea about using NASCAR chassis underneath the streetcar builds and such. He did it to a 78 Ford pickup truck and a couple other trucks besides. But with NASCAR chassis, what they do is that with the higher, higher wheel arches, such as these, being that those wheel arches are so high on, above the tire, you can get a car on the ground and still fit a tire within here without modifying the wheel arches. And the front suspension, you can just modify the spindles or adjust your upper and lower A arms to get the you know get a squatted down look of an air uh, like an air ride suspension would be to get the lowered lowered look to the front suspension. So that's what's underneath this truck here, and that's the chassis view of it. Um, this I did modify the front suspension a little bit. I did push it up just a hair to get the front end to squat a little bit more back end everything else is pretty much right out of the kit all I did on the front spindles is I cut the spindle off the the back or whatever if you will and I just moved the wheel mount up up more 
So that's what it looks like with the chassis underneath it, from the ground underneath side of it. Added a couple of fuel filters to the back. And then the engine side of things, use the NASCAR engine block and tranny assembly. Use the uh, Chevelle and Ravel, Ravel Chevelle Max Rat headers on it. All along with the valve covers, got the Marousel valve covers that you find in the Ravel heavy, uh, Max Rat Chevelle. Intake, carb, and air cleaner are all out of the uh, NASCAR kit that this came out of, along with the the drive, the belt drive assembly on the front of the engine. But that'll give it the nice clean look underneath, underneath the hood and such. And I'll get it. Oops, just knocked the gearbox off. I got it to where the front frame horns clip underneath the front roll pan to hold it all together. Then all I did was I sanded down the spot where the driver's seat would fit. All the raised portions where the seat tracks and everything would be, the roll cage mounts and all that. I, I ripped all that off of there. Shaved the same thing off this side over here, cut the roll cage away. Keep it all kind of a streetable you know, look to it. What I'm gonna do in the end is I'm gonna put two bucket seats in there and then just leave it just a bare, bare floor, bare interior like you see here. And I painted it silver just to have a little silver on the floorboard. And that's the underside of the truck. You can see in the back where I cut, I cut the center and then I had to narrow up the, the vet rear end. The vet rear end was a little bit wider than the Chevy truck so I had to cut it. And I forget how much I took out of it to section it in there. Laid the vet taillights everything right over top of the Chevy tailgate. Just to make it all work. Here you can see where I notched out the the back of the cab. Here, here, and up here for the drive shaft tunnel to clear all the stuff that's on the floor pan of the truck itself. Um, wheels and tires, I forget when I scavenge these. I think these are out of the 30 Model A, the Woody, the Ravel. 30 mile a woody kit that came out not too long ago. I think I scabbed them out of there. It'll have three bar spinners on the wheels as well for your center knockouts. And the radiator will be just a radiator cooling fan mounted up front. And then the dashboard is a little bit of a creation in itself. Oops.